everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with one of my most requested videos and that's gonna be all my tips to get healthy hair. You guys are always asking questions about my hair, you want to know what products I use, if I have any tips. So if you're curious, this video is gonna be for you. The first tip that I'm gonna share with you is the best one. Ever since I started doing that, my hair has been beautiful. I converted a few of my friends and their hair is beautiful as well. And that is, don't wash your hair too often. I used to be the kind of girl that would wash her hair every other day, so I would wash my hair probably four times a week, which is just way too much. Water really strips the oil from your hair, it damages it, it makes it break easily, and it's just not good for your hair. So the best thing is to wash your hair once or twice a week. I personally wash my hair twice a week, usually on Sundays and on Thursdays, and in between shampoo, your best one's gotta be dry shampoo. Now, I'm not going to lie, when you transition from washing your hair really often to once or twice a week, you're gonna have greasy hair. You're gonna deal with that for about three or four weeks. So dry shampoo is gonna be a daily essential during that transition phase. This is my favorite. This is the Collab Dry Shampoo. I personally love the scent London. This is great because it's completely invisible. So if you have dark hair, if you have black hair, it's not going to show on your hair. This is just a miracle in a bottle, the idea if you don't know what dry shampoo is. This is kind of a powder in a spray. You apply that onto your roots where your hair is very greasy. You leave it on for a few minutes, you massage it, and then you brush it away with a brush. And it basically gives you clean hair without any water. This is just one of my best tips. And a few of my friends were washing the hair really often and they started doing less and less shampoos and the hair is beautiful. So trust me on that. This is the best tip to have beautiful, healthy hair. My next tip would be to switch up your products, especially shampoos and conditioner. I find that if I use the same shampoo and conditioner every single time I wash my hair, it tends to get used to it and it's not as efficient as it used to be. So I have three different routines that I switch up depending on what I want and what my hair needs. So the first product that I use is the Volumific range from Kerastase. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. This is something that I use whenever I want to have a lot of volume. I love to use that in summer if I'm planning on doing a braid or up to. This is just beautiful because it moisturizes your hair, but it gives volume in the same time, so it doesn't feel too coarse underneath your fingers. The next range that I use is also from Kerastase. Kerastase is just one of my favorite brands when it comes to hair care. This is a nutritive shampoo and conditioner. This is great if you have damaged hair. If you've been using a lot of heat on it, if you've been a little bit less careful with it, this is great to repair the damage. It's really potent, but it doesn't leave your hair really heavy and really greasy looking. So I just love to use that every once in a while. And the last routine that I have is this one. I use the John Masters Organic Lavender Rosemary Shampoo for normal hair. This is a great natural shampoo. The only thing is that you need to rinse it really well because the first few times that I've used it, it left quite a lot of product in my hair. My hair was just greasy, it was ugly. So if you use this shampoo, it's beautiful, but just make sure to rinse it really well. And then if I want to do a mask, which is something that I do probably once every two weeks, just on my hands, um, from my hairs down to my ends, just to nourish the hair. I use the Kerastase specific mask Hydra Apaison. This is basically a mask that is going to really restore your hair. It's gonna take care of that. I love to use that in a bath. I run myself a bath, do a shampoo, apply it on my hair, um, then put it in a bun and just relax in the bath for between 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it away. I just love this. It leaves my hair super shiny and super soft as well. My next tip is also going to make a huge difference on your hair. Whenever you use heat on your hair, so if you use a hair dryer, if you use a flat iron, if you use a curling wand, always, always use a heat protectant. This is something that I've started doing a few years ago. Before that, I had no idea such products existed. I learned about them through YouTube videos and I started using them and it has made a huge difference. I personally use heat on my hair pretty much every other day 
and I don't get as much damage from it as if I was using tools, hot tools, without a heat protectant. The reason is that it will coat your hair, it will protect it from the heat, but it also helps to lock your style. It's kind of like a hairspray, but as a primer, if that makes sense. I found that it makes a huge difference on my hair. So I have three products to show you. I use them for different uses. So the first one is the OC Hair Insurance. This is a hairspray, a heat protectant spray. This is the one that I use whenever I use um, uh, hot tools on my dry hair. So for example, this morning I did my curls. I used this before using my um, curling iron so that it doesn't damage my hair. The other product that I have is the Kerastase L'Incroyable Blow Dry. This is a product that I use whenever I have wet hair and I want to use a blow dryer with it. So this really helps to avoid frizzy hair because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use a hair dryer, I get frizzy hair like crazy. So I use a few pumps of that. It looks a little bit like a serum. I just run it through my hair with my hands and I just love the result because you cannot feel it once your hair is dry. And the last product that I use is a new one. You probably saw it in my Sephora haul. This is a Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. This is a primer that I use whenever I have wet hair, but I want to let it hair dry because if I don't apply any products on it, I will have massive hair that is all over the place. So I use a few spritz on that on my hair and it's beautiful. I also love it to use whenever you're going on holiday somewhere sunny, you're gonna be staying by the by the pool or the seaside, you're going to be in the sun a lot. This is great to use because the sun damages your hair as well. So this is a great multitask product to take with you on holiday. The next tip that I have is to double up your shampoo. So whenever I wash my hair, I do two shampoos before moving on to conditioner. I use the same shampoo, I just use it twice on my hair. The reason that I do that is because I feel like the first cleanse only removes like dirt and pollution and stuff like that and I feel like the second cleanse really gets your hair clean and your scalp nice and healthy. This is the same thing that I do for my face. I always double cleanse. I take my makeup off and then I cleanse my face and I apply the same thing to my hair and I found that it makes a huge difference. A few of my friends do it as well and it makes a difference for them as well. Another tip that I have is that I always let my conditioner sit on my hair for a few minutes. So I'll do my first shampoo, rinse it, second shampoo, rinse it, apply my conditioner, put my hair up in a bun and leave it on for at least three minutes, sometimes longer if I can. And this really makes a difference because the product can really sink in and make a difference. The next tip that I have is to use different brushes for different things. The first one I have is the wet brush. This is the one that I use when I have wet hair, as the name suggests. It's not really recommended to use a brush on your wet hair, but whenever I do a blow dry, because I don't do a blow dry with like a run brush, I just want to get my hair dry as quick as possible. So I use this brush and I work my way up. The reason I do that is because it causes less breakage on your hair because you're gentle and you're working your way up so you're not pulling down all your knots and then thugging at your hair. So I really like this brush for the blow dry and then on a daily basis I rely on this brush which I have had for the last, I want to say 20 years, something crazy like that. My mum has one, my dad used to have one. This is a Mason and Pearson. They have a complete range, they have soft one, they have harder ones. This is the kind that has the two kind of bristles. This is great because it massages your scalp as you brush your hair. So this is great to stimulate hair growth and it's just beautiful to use. It really makes your hair shine. And this is just the one that I always travel with. I don't ever use it on white hair though. This is the one that I use only on dry hair. That is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about hair, or about anything else really, you can leave that in the comment section down below. I love reading your comments and answering them as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone, bye.